What's going on, everybody, man? What is going on? It is your boy, Romanus. Um, I'm back again. I got a story to tell y'all. I got uh, not even a story, just a current event. So what's been going on in my life? Um, just to give y'all a heads up, my, my camera is here. So I have a bar here that highlights that like lights up. So whenever I'm working and stuff like that, y'all see how it dims and stuff. So that's why I can't put my camera there and my screen above. It's too high for me to put it. It's gonna be like aim it down like that and that. So, <clears throat> so when you see me looking straight at myself or looking at the microphone, then you know why. But let's get to it. So, as y'all may see in the title, somebody done broke in my car, bro. Um, got me. Broke in my car. It's crazy. Um, I can't complain. It was um. I was being lackadacious. Um, I wasn't being vigilant. And they caught me slipping. Um, I woke up. This was Tuesday morning after the freeze out here in Houston. Y'all know how it's like a freeze or whatever. And that's crazy because it's like, it's like people out here being thieves in, in, in like 15 degree weather. It's crazy. 13 degree weather, 20 degree weather. And you got here stealing. But anyways, so it comes. It's Wednesday morning, actually. It happened Tuesday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, you know how that go. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting up, going to work. Um, I fixed my lunch, had me some rice, um, smothered chicken, thighs, green beans. Put it in my lunch pail, boom, got my back. No, I take that back. Put it in my lunch pail, I walk into the car. I unlock the car. Um, I go to the back seat because I always put my lunch pail in the back seat. Open it up. I sit down and I look and like I'm never mind me, I'm on the driver's side doing this. So I look in like the middle towards like the middle. I see glass. I look up a little bit. I see glass there. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, so I'm like, huh? I look up. Glass all on the little window thing. I'm like, damn, they broke my shit. First thing I'm thinking, I'm like, damn. Did the um cold weather mess with the window or something? So then I like, I like, nah, ain't nobody got me. So I walk to the other side, glass hole on the ground. I'm like, damn, these fools got me. I open up the door, and then that's when they hit me. I'm like, whoa. I look at what's in my back seat. My gym bag's gone. I'm like, what the fuck? Damn. So I go inside. I'm like, man, they didn't got me. Everybody like, huh? What you mean? Like, nah, nah, nah. I'm like, yeah, somebody done broke in my car. So I call the police. Follow the police report. Um, talk to the cop. He like, what was in the bag? You like, he like, well, you know, what did they take? I said they took a gym bag. And at that time, I didn't think about it. I had my shoes. I had my USC Dunks in the car. I believe that's what caught their attention because I saw a video on the Ring Neighbors app. It's a dude going around the neighborhoods in this area um, with a flashlight flashing it in the windows and looking at see if he see anything in the car that catches his attention. And I guess the USC Dunks is what caught his attention because my brother car was right next to me. He had his gym bag in there and nothing. So he flashed it in mind, I'm guessing, seen it, broke the window, took the USC dunks, and took the gym bag. At the time, like I said, I didn't remember that I had the USC dunks in there. So I was like, I told the cop, I'm like, man, he took my uh, gym bag. He's like, gym bag? I'm like, yeah. He's like, it, like, what was in there? I said, my headphones. That was like, I had the beats, the red beats with the let go around the ear wireless. The little smaller ones, you know. Um, I had those, and I was like, those, they took those. He's like, how much they cost? I was like, like $200. And then I was like, um, my gym bag. He's like, how the bag look? I told him. And then he's like, well, I was in the bag. You know, I was like, um, wrist wraps, water bottles. And he was like, how much do the total of all that? I was like, maybe like 100 bucks. He's like, okay. <clears throat> and then, you know, he took pictures, gave me a case number, and was like, Go ask your neighbors and see if they have any cameras. Because he asked us about the cameras. Like, the camera didn't pick anything up. And he was like, ask your neighbors. So I went to go ask them. I just actually came back from asking one of the neighbors next door. He told me that um his camera not even wasn't even working that night. It's not even charged up. He needs to fix it. So I'm like, damn. Okay, so I took the L on that. So then um that's when I got in my room. I came back. I'm like, I'm sitting here. I'm like, damn, I look at the Nike SB box. I'm like, damn, I'm going to open it up. I'm like, damn, my USC dunks was in there. So they got me for those. You know, it is what it is, live and learn. And what's crazy to me is um, I move, 
out of all the places I grew up and everything, you would have thought that I would have got like my stuff broken into and stuff like that. I this is my first time ever getting like somebody breaking into my car or anything like that. And that's like, bro, I'm an adult in a decent neighborhood. And it's like that's when somebody finally break into my stuff. Like, that's crazy. Um, all I'm gonna say is just um God was looking out, you know, made sure that I didn't catch him in the act. Say so if you know what that mean, you know what that mean. So, you know, it is what it is. Um you just gotta let um God do his thing, you know, karma gonna get him, you know. And I'm coming back even stronger. I got a new gym bag on the way. Coming on Monday. I got um I got my whole gym bag essentials. When they come in, I'm gonna drop a video and show y'all everything. It is what it is. I took the L, it was a lesson. I took the lesson. Now I know. Don't leave nothing in the car like that. Um, and they, they ain't take my speakers, my amp. They ain't do nothing. He just took the shoes and the bag. I had another bag in the car with my work laptop. He didn't even take that. So it was a blessing. You know, it was what, $400? You know, that's what that stuff pretty much um ended up like um, totaling. So it was like $400. So nothing much. Um, What they always say, um, small setback for a major comeback. Like I said, man, I'm dropping a, I'm going to drop a gym bag essentials video as soon as everything comes in. And um we going we going full fledged. We're going all the way in. Um that's out the way. Um another thing I want to talk to y'all about, man. My plants. <clears throat> the garden. I told you this is my first time really gar uh, growing stuff like that, right? So I told y'all we had the freezing weather. Tell me why I go out there to check on my plants and stuff, man. They all did. They all did, man. Except for the uh, Clementine. Clementine's still holding on strong. But the uh, water balance, they're like, blah. Uh, tomato, blah. It's just sitting there. It's done. So I say I'm going to replant everything by February, end of February, towards March, maybe early March. And then that's when I let everything just sit there and watch it grow and go from there. So it's, you know, life lesson, you know. Um, So it is what it is. Today is Friday. January 19th, you know what's tomorrow, right? Texans versus Baltimore, in Baltimore. I believe it, man. I believe my Texans going to win. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Just like I felt, last week I said the same thing. Last week I had I had more spirit, like I really felt it. This week, I don't have that much spirit, but I feel it. I feel like we're going to win. I feel like this is our year. And then you had the clip where D'Amico Ryans went viral where he talked to Christian Harris and told Christian Harris to sit down and he told him exactly what to do. Like, it was scripted. Literally. He gave him a script, told him what to do. And um, I read a comment when I was watching the video. Somebody was like, this right here brings tears to your eyes. I'm sitting there at work like, dang, I'm on the clock looking at this. I'm like, man, I'm about to shed a tear. Because it's like the, the amount of respect that team has, the camaraderie. Like, Christian Harris looked at him when he told him, he's like, yes, sir. And he literally went out there and did it. Caught the pick six, took it to the crib. It's crazy, man. It is crazy. And Baltimore got some injuries now. They got uh, Kyle, the safety, he's injured. I saw something that said that their uh, cornerback is injured. And I seen another thing that said that they're um, tight end. He's, they, they're keeping him on IR. So, this may be our year, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say I feel it. I'm keeping the tradition the same. I'm going to go buy the wings tomorrow after the gym. And wearing the same CJ Stroud jersey. And we watching. We, we doing our thing, man. I'm just telling y'all it is what it is. Um. So, y'all be prepared for me to drop a, a recap video of us winning. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to do too much talking. Um. Shout out to everybody that watched the last video, man, that's subscribing. Shout out to y'all, man. Um, comment. Let me know where y'all from. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and vibing with the kid. Um, hey, real ones, real ones, see real ones. That's all I'm going to say. Um, last thing I want to talk to y'all about before I got out of here um, was the gym. It's time for me to get back in shape, man. Um, like I said, man. Uh, minor setback for a major comeback. Um, the fools hit me. They, I, you know, I got caught lacking. Hit me for a lick. 
um, for my gym back and stuff like that. But, bro, I'm getting serious back in the gym. I got my pre-workout. Um, I'm getting back to it. Because my main complaint is going to the gym late after work and I feel tired. <clears throat> but I'm getting back to it. Um, it's time to drop this weight again. Get back in shape and become the sex god that I am. You dig? Um, Calvin Klein row. That's what they, they that that was that was always going around. Calvin Klein row. Nowadays it's probably right. It's gonna be Ralph Lauren row. You know, cause I mostly rock the Ralph Lauren boxers. But y'all boys stay tuned, man. Y'all boys take this journey with me. Um, I was talking to my girl um, about me doing some uh, some reviews on some of these protein powders and stuff that I take too. Right now I'm taking the naked mask. Remember I told y'all about the uh, the cure. I got another flavor. This actually, I got this for my girl, mine at work, so we can have some at work and stuff. But this is a um, strawberry kiwi flavor. <clears throat> so, um, I'm gonna do some reviews, man, on some protein powders, some pre-workouts, and my supplements that I'm taking and stuff like that. Um, and just keep y'all in tune. Um, but I want y'all to take this journey with me. Sunday, I got I got my grocery pickup at H E B. Um, I gotta go pick up. Um, I I use the AI to help me come up with a, a meal plan. Um, tapped into it, so we're gonna see how it go. Uh, turn it into a nutritionist. So I'm hopping on the brown rice, chicken, and mixed veggies, and then for the dinner it's gonna be uh, ground turkey, um, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. So we get into it, man. Breakfast is gonna be a protein shake, and then um, I got some snacks in between, some yogurts. Oh, I forgot to add those to the list. I just thought about it. Crap. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna substitute, and I'm gonna go to uh, Sam's and buy the big thing of the yogurts. I forgot about that. Okay, <clears throat> that's one thing I miss on my shopping list. Dang, I think. Anyways, it is what it is. Um, I spent so much money. They broke my window. Um, I was about to go to Safe Flight and let them fix it like an idiot. They tried to charge me $400 to fix a back window. $400, y'all. Crazy. So I went to this um, dude on, uh, in Houston called Window Shield or something like that. Cool cat. Wife is a family-owned business. Wife took care of me. Like, like they took care of me. Um me for a good price 184 okay beat that um name is one cool cat i told him I'm like bro you got a lifetime customer you know you ain't gotta worry about it i'm always come back home and send people your way so it's all about showing love and appreciation man just like i appreciate y'all tuning in to me um get y'all the current events of what's going on in my life man sorry i'm not the type that's gonna just walk around with the camera and vlog everywhere and stuff like that man Maybe one day, but I ain't got there yet. I used to do that back in the day, but I haven't gotten there yet. But just wanted to tap in and let y'all know what's been going on, man. Also, I received a, uh, I accepted an award that same day that my car got broken into. So, um, you know, your boys out here making, you make your thing shape, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Y'all stay safe, stay warm out there. Make sure y'all subscribe, rate, and comment. I salute you.